Hey yo, what's decent? Yo, I am back. And like I said, I finally got the no outlines quality that I've been looking for. So, let's get this battle started. I'm gonna lead out with gum shoes. This Pokemon is quite interesting, actually. At first, I thought about using it on a Trick Room team. I mean, I just kill this thing all the time, and I'm like, you know what? Let me look at it, and I'm like, yo, this thing has high attack, and it has an interesting ability. Actually, it turns out that against this particular team, it's actually good. This guy bought a whole bunch of steals. The only thing that resists Earth-type attacks on his team happens to be the Tapu Bulu. And Tapu Bulu will do a number, in a sense, because the grassy terrain will dwindle down the amount of damage that ground-type attacks do. But, you know, that's okay. I bought a Vanilla X because I didn't want Sludge Wave and or Power Gem to inflict any damage on the Gumshoes. He does have everything else weak to ground type attacks, like I said. So I wanna get off some damage when it comes to that. And Muck comes in, and this Vanellix is destroying Muck. This is the Salt Vest Vanellix with um, Hidden Power Fire, I believe. Yeah, Hidden Power Fire, uh, Sludge, no, not Sludge Bomb, not Sludge Bomb. What is it? What's my own set? Obviously Blizzard, you got a um, Flash Cannon, and then a Miracle. That's what it is, Miracle. So I was hoping that he'll bring one of his steel types, go for like a flash cannon or something like that, or maybe even like uh, anything but that because that's a physical steel. But you know, we can bring in one of his steels and go for a, a steel type move and or a uh, switching move because he has both um, Magnezone and Mar Margina, Margina, something like that. I, 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 what are these Pokemon pronunciations? <laughs> but okay, so now in comes this uh, my executor, right? He's gonna switch out to that thing. Right, so I'm gonna set up the leech seed and I'm just gonna have to switch up because I didn't set up the substitute yet. I wish I had heal still, you know, but probably would have had like the icy rock or something like that. But I think assault vest in that case scenario would have proved to be a little bit more effective. So now I'm bringing my um to Toxapex or Togapex. Oh man, you know what? I I'm gonna stick, yo, until I read that Pokedex 3D thing, yeah, I'm gonna just stick to this. I'm bringing in this water. Poison thing. Well, I'm bringing in this psychic ground thing. You know, I'm gonna stick to saying things like that because I know I'm saying these Pokemon names wrong. It's been like how many months now, and I'm still I can't say them properly yet because I think I haven't even like practiced them yet. You know? And you know what it is? I haven't gotten the TCG at all. So it's like usually I practice the pronunciation of the names with the TCG cards, but you know I guess this particular Jeff for whatever reason I didn't do that. So now he brings in this thing, his Mega Metagross again. And he goes to the Earthquake, I suppose I'm going for the Zen Headbutt, which proves to be a little bit of a mistake. I will tell you why, because I get up a Skull. Now I'm actually able to inflict a burn on it, as you guys will see. Had he went for the Zen Headbutt, you know, that actually would have inflicted some more damage. But I don't know why he's not really doing that, in a sense, because, I mean, Executor, the lone Executor, is no longer Psychic. Like, I'm Dragon, so you'll do a lot more damage. Plus, you have the ability that makes the Zen Headbutt damage output a little bit more. So, Earthquake is not doing anything, but especially he's not doing anything now since you're burned. So, yeah, it's actually questionable when it comes to action. So, he brings in Tapa Bulu. He figures that, you know, since we're both Brass, but then I have the Dragon type attributes, and he has the Fairy that, you know, I can't do nothing. So, he's gonna try to set up on me, but dude, you're forgetting one small thing. One small thing, man. I got a sludge bomb. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. <laughs> oh, man. So, I get up a free substitute. That's pretty damn cool. So, now Zen Hat, but I think I'm just gonna go for the Leech Seed to replenish my HP. It might prove to be a little bit more useful. I'm supposed to go for the Flamethrower right off the bat. So I know two attacks should be able to break the substitute here. I'm just gonna go for the secondary substitute afterwards. I'm replenishing all those hit points, man. Yo, that is crazy. What is Metagross doing, son? Yo, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have a substitute up. I, I don't know what you're trying to play at. I know how to play Pokemon. I'm gonna have a substitute up. That's cool. We just wait for this stuff to happen. <laughs> all these secondary effects to happen. Yo, you ever play like Pokemon Stadium? Or anything like that, and it's just like you have so many secondary effects, and it looked like it took like two hours for each turn to complete because you had like yo, you had Leech Seed, you had Toxic, you had Weather, you had this, you had that, you know, and it just like took two hours for every goddamn turn. So now in comes the Magnezone. Yo, that Magnezone quality is beautiful. So now I'm just gonna go, yo, look at that. Yo, that's the first time I'm even seeing that. 
Guys, I didn't even review this video before I'm commentating it, actually, but I'm just going off based on memory. I remember this is Choice Specs, and I actually didn't remember that. I, I mean, not remembered. I actually didn't think that it would do that much damage. In comes Greninja, son, so I know he's going to want to switch out. He switches out into this thing. Please hide your... Oh, good lord! Thanks for connecting. So now I don't have to really rely on it again. I just go for the water shield, kid. And that's gonna kill off that thing and get off my little battle bond. And I want to test out to see if Water Shuriken will. Kill. I know, I know Dark Pulse, and I know that Hydro Pump will kill. But I want to test to see if Water Shuriken will kill. Like how many Water Shurikens it takes to kill the Magnezone. Essentially, in a way, almost throwing the game if you go for the Choice Bags Thunderbolt. Everything is slow, but not really because my Gum Shoes has 252 HP, so I'll bring that in if Greninja didn't have to kill it. So. That was a great game. I definitely have a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, drop a like. And if you guys want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe to me. It is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Peace. What you doing?